expect the special prosecutor's office to find out as a result of this plea? Well, I, th I think there are a couple of clues in in the uh, in the documents Mueller filed today that that if you pull them, the, the threads start to unravel and they start to expose Trump's and Manafort's ties to the Russian mafia. And let me just mention a couple of them. One is if you look at the uh, look at the documents, you see that Manafort laundered money through a company called. The Lucico Company. Mm -hmm. Well, that company was tied to a guy named Ivan Furson, whose partners were the most, uh, the brains behind the Russian mafia, a man named Simeon Mogilevich. And Mogilevich's operatives have been around Trump for more than 35 years. He start, uh, Trump started laundering money uh, for the Russian mafia through Trump properties as early as 1984. The FBI chased uh, Mogilevich's operatives. All over Brooklyn found out that they actually lived in Trump Tower. And there have been Trump, uh, Russian mafia operations based in Trump Tower for, for many, of the, many of these years. Uh, there's also a guy who's not mentioned by name, but by his position. And uh, if you'll excuse my Ukrainian, uh, his real name is Sergei Lavochkin, and he was chief of staff to President Yanukovych, who Manafort was work working for. He, too, is part of Mogilevich's uh, circle. And if you look at what they're really doing, it gets to the root of what I think uh, this whole scandal is really about. It's that Russia is a kleptocracy uh, with Putin at the very top. They are stealing Russia's natural resources and profiting enormously from the Ukraine energy trade. Uh, and they brought in uh, Manafort to uh, back them up politically in Ukraine, and that's where the money comes from.